हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर्स लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट आर द इनपुट्स एंड आउटपुट्स इन एन इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन सिस्टम द आंसर इज द सिग्नल दैट इज यूज्ड एज फीडबैक सिग्नल इज नोन एज इनपुट सिग्नल इनपुट सिग्नल इज रिसीव फ्रॉम सेंसर्स स्विचेज मीटर्स एटसेट्रा लाइक एनी अदर सिस्टम इन इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन Feedback signals are input signals. Input signals are received from various sensors, switches, meters, etc. Here, a sensor and a switch are shown in picture. Various sensors and meters are shown in pictures. Here, RTD and thermocouple are shown. Magnetic flowmeter is shown. Mass flowmeter is shown. These are the input signals. in an instrumentation system the signal that is used as command is known as output signal the output signal is feed to relays actuators control valves vfds etc in instrumentation system commands are output signals and the output signal is provided to relays pneumatic actuators pneumatic control valves variable frequency drive etc here relay and actuators are shown in the picture these are the examples of output signals for instrumentation system like control valve variable frequency drive the output signal is given to control valve variable frequency drive The second question is suppose we are running a motor using a VFD what are the feedback signals that received in the PLC panel When we operate a motor using a variable frequency drive or VFD the feedback signals are received in the PLC panel When the motor is operated using a VFD some feedback signals are received these signals are received in the PLC DCS panel now let's see what are these feedback signals some feedback signals are DI signals DI means digital input signals these signals are run feedback healthy feedback and trip feedback run feedback means when motor is on its run feedback is received healthy feedback means when motor is running in the healthy mode then healthy feedback is received trip feedback if motor is tripped by any reason then its trip feedback is received now some signals are analog input signals and also known as ai signals these signals are rpm feedback and load feedback the rpm feedback is the motor speed feedback here you can see that motor is running at any speed then ai signal is received and the another one is load feedback load feedback shows the load on the motor operated how much load is on the motor that is received as load feedback now the third question is what is a valve positioner how does it work Valve positioner is a unit with a control valve to keep the valve in position according to the signal provided. As the name suggests, valve positioner is an instrument used to position the pneumatic control valve according to the signal provided. For example, if operating signal to the control valve is 50% or 75%, then the pneumatic control valve positioner will position the control valve accordingly. a controller output is fed to the valve positioner and the positioner provides the output to the control valve to maintain any process controller output is fed to control valve via valve positioner and the control valve will maintain any process like it will maintain the pressure flow temperature etc Now we will take the next question this is also an important question what is gland packing name the types of commonly used gland packing 
नाउ लेट सी इट्स आंसर अ सीलिंग सिस्टम इन द वाल बॉडी विच प्रिवेंट्स द प्रोसेस फ्लूड कमिंग आउट थ्रू द वाल स्टेम ग्लैंड पैकिंग इज बेसिकली अ सीलिंग सिस्टम दैट प्रिवेंट्स कमिंग आउट ऑफ प्रोसेस फ्लूड थ्रू द वाल स्टेम कॉमनली यूज ग्लैंड पैकिंग्स आर टेफलॉन ग्रेफाइट एटसेट्रा टेफलॉन ग्लैंड पैकिंग आर यूज फॉर लो टेम्परेचर एप्लीकेशन इफ वी आर यूजिंग द कंट्रोल वाल फॉर लो टेम्परेचर एप्लीकेशन देन टेफलॉन ग्लैंड पैकिंग इज यूज ग्रेफाइट ग्लैंड पैकिंग आर यूज फॉर हाई टेम्परेचर एप्लीकेशन इफ वी आर यूजिंग द कंट्रोल वाल फॉर हाई टेम्परेचर एप्लीकेशन देन ग्रेफाइट ग्लैंड पैकिंग इज यूज सो देयर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन टेफलॉन ग्लैंड पैकिंग एंड ग्रेफाइट ग्लैंड पैकिंग इज द टेफलॉन ग्लैंड पैकिंग इज यूज फॉर लो टेम्परेचर एप्लीकेशन एंड ग्रेफाइट ग्लैंड पैकिंग इज यूज फॉर हाई टेम्परेचर एप्लीकेशन दीज वाइट्स आर टेफलॉन ग्लैंड पैकिंग एंड दीज ब्लैक्स आर ग्रेफाइट ग्लैंड पैकिंग द फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्लेन द कॉन्टेक्ट सेलेक्शन ऑन हाई एंड लो प्रेशर अलार्म स्विचेज इट मीन्स हाउ वी विल मेक कॉन्टेक्ट ऑन हाई प्रेशर एंड लो प्रेशर इन ए प्रेशर स्विच ऑन अ हाई प्रेशर स्विच द वायरिंग इज टर्मिनेटेड ऑन द कॉमन एंड नॉर्मली क्लोज कॉन्टेक्ट टर्मिनल्स इफ वी आर मेकिंग कनेक्शन फॉर हाई प्रेशर अलार्म द वायरिंग इज टर्मिनेटेड बिटवीन कॉमन एंड एन सी हेयर कॉमन एंड एन सी आर शोन इन द पिक्चर प्रेशर स्विच हैज थ्री कॉन्टेक्ट कॉमन नॉर्मली क्लोज दैट मीन्स एन सी नॉर्मली ओपन दैट मीन्स एन ओ now we will see how we will recognize the common no and nc on a low pressure switch the wiring is terminated on the common and the normally open contact terminals if we are making connections for the low pressure alarm the wiring is terminated on the common and normally open that means no terminal the terminal 3 in the picture is nc that means normally closed and it is shown as closed in the picture here you can see the third terminal is shown as closed the terminal 2 is no terminal that means normally open terminal and here you can see in the picture that terminal 2 is shown in the open condition and terminal 1 is the common terminal so that was our video thanks for watching the video do like share subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon thanks for watching